Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to make this integrity chair and I'm going to explain just how this chair is able to hold itself up. So without further ado, let's just get to the explanation. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to this channel if you want to see more content like this. Drop a comment if you would have this chair or not and tell us why. And now let's just get to the explanation. So here it is, top part resting in the bottom part and it's now free to move in any direction. Once I add the chain in this corner, it won't be able to go this way. Once I add the chain in this corner, it won't be able to go that way and so on all around the chair. With this chain added, now I can't push it down here. And then once I add this chain here, I will be able to go here. The chair is now holding up only with two chains. Since the most of the weight is on this side, it's pushing down. With the most ability now we have to add two more chains and the chair will be stable. So with all three chains added now, there's one more missing. Now the chair is now unable to go down here, down here, or down here. Only this motion is still allowed because there's no chain. I'm gonna add another one here, and then it should be fixed in place. Here it is. It's now unable to fall. A bit of play here, but we can fix that with the screw on top, tighten the chains, and the chair will become stable. I'm going to tighten the chain now, and it's much better. You can tighten it even more, you have more stability, but I like it this way so you can rock back and forth. If you like the chair to rock back and forward more, just loosen this screw here and it will give you a lot of play here. Loosen it even more and it's now rattling so you just keep it fixed like that and you can still move about a little bit. 